it's April 15th and I'm standing out here in my apple orchard and this is prime pruning time except not really today. Uh, we've had a very large winter storm go from uh, the west to the east of the United States and it has extended from Minnesota down into Mississippi. And in our area in uh, central and lower Michigan, we're experiencing rain and freezing rain. And if you look at the trees behind me, you'll notice they're coated with about a quarter to a half inch of ice. And the reason I'm making this uh, video is because some people might be a little bit concerned about that. And as you, as you look around my yard, you'll notice that my white pines and spruces and all kinds of trees are really uh, laid low in terms of the branches hanging down because of the weight of the ice on the trees. And in some cases, uh, throughout this neighborhood, we've had a lot of trees, uh, branches down, fairly large ones. In my yard, usually the first thing to go, and this storm is not over, is the branches on the white pine trees because they're softer. Uh, things like my uh, Norway spruce, I generally don't have much trouble with. But uh, as I said, the reason I uh, made this video is because there's ice on the fruit trees and some people, especially those who may be new to having backyard uh, fruit trees, is that they may be concerned that there might be damage. Well, the good news is you don't really need to worry too much. The branches are short enough so that the amount of ice that's going to accumulate on them will not likely break the branches. Uh, now, that might not be so true if you had, say, a cherry tree and you had one of these classic V-shaped situations where um, where the two branches come together, it's uh, occluded bark there and not very strong, and the plant can just go bloop over that way. Uh, but if you have a well-trained tree, you don't have to be concerned about it. Now, the other thing that people might uh, be worried about is the fact that, oh, what about my flower buds? Well, my um, apple trees are still dormant. They're starting to show a little what we call silver tip. And uh, if you were to look at a chart that showed the damage that you can get at different temperatures is you generally will have more damage to buds the further developed they are. For instance, if the apples were in what we call a tight cluster, which means that the flower cluster is pretty close together, it's identifiable but not really open yet, you will get uh, about 90% loss of those flower buds if you have temperatures around 21 degrees Fahrenheit. But if you go further along in their development, let's say full bloom, you can get 90% kill now at 25 degrees. So as you develop, they become more susceptible to cold winter injury. But these are still in pretty good shape. It would take some very low temperatures to kill the buds. But the other good thing that we have working for us is the fact that these buds are covered by ice. And as you well know, ice is, water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. These branches are coated with ice, so the bud is being held at about 32 degrees. So you don't have to worry about any type of damage. And you get the added benefit that as this uh, ice melts, it gives off heat, so you're not going to get any additional damage. So if you're concerned about your flower buds with a little bit of ice on them, you can relax. You're still in good shape. So thank you for listening and we'll be back in the orchard the next time there's something to do. Thank you.